from the studio that is a chokehold on all of the most popular franchises comes the 17 year long series that made ninjas, well, just about as cool as they always were. <laughs> ninjas are so awesome. Naruto. Enter the mind of Kishimoto, creator of Naruto. Not that he needs to do much else. As he delivers a fiery ninja adventure full of friendship and betrayal with some of the best animation and the worst animation to date. In this worldwide hit that made a whole generation of weeaboos run with their arms behind their backs. Sneak in to the hidden ninja village of Konoha, where young ninjas will learn the art of combat, stealth, and magic. Instead of math, science, or sex education, as they fight to protect their nation from numerous threats that are mainly just more ninjas. And thrill at the constant dick measuring contest between other countries in a world that seems like there's not much else going on besides ninja wars. And like two ramen chefs. Don the orange jacket of Naruto as he tries to prove himself by becoming the Hokage. A fact that he'll remind you of over and over again. I'll be Lord Hokage! I'm gonna be the Hokage! To be the greatest Hokage! I'll be Hokage! To be Hokage! 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 Oh, okay, we get it. Enough already. But Naruto's not the only annoying orange in town. Join the members of Team 7, Sasuke, the emo genius who is a liability for all the people that care about him. Sakura, the completely useless third member, until she gets a One Punch Man style upgrade. Kakashi, an elite warrior and decorated hero reduced to babysitting selfish asshole tweens. And all of these other characters that are eventually just drowned out by Naruto and Sasuke. Witness the greatest bromance of all time as Naruto tries to bring his friend Sasuke back home, despite the fact that he ran away, defected to another country, subjected himself to evil experiments, almost beats Naruto to death, keeps saying he's not going home, tried to kill his friends, tried to kill Naruto again, tried to destroy his country, tried to kill all the world leaders, and did I mention how he tried to kill Naruto? Because he tries that a lot. Oh, get over it, Naruto. He's just not that into you. Follow the epic story that spans multiple generations, that begins as a coming-of-age story about a boy persecuted for harboring a cursed power. Then experience the time skip of Shippuden that takes whatever happy feelings you had and crushes them in an avalanche of betrayal, conspiracy, and death as Naruto fights absurdly overpowered bad guys one after another, which he eventually defeats by inspiring them to death. All ending with the whole ninja world working together to take down that giant evil bunny rabbit that wants to put everyone in, in a giant evil tree to create a ninja matrix? Man, this show would be so dumb if it wasn't for the fight scenes. And, you know, all the feels. Oh, oh god, the feels. How do I hold them all? Starring Therapy No Jitsu, Fallout Boy. She-Hulk, Plagiarism Ninja, Best Nissan, My Brand, Snake Gobbler, Pervert Frogger, Japanese Two-Face, Tina Turner, and the rest of these guys that you see like once or twice, sometimes. Teenage Human Ninja Ninjas. So Naruto saves the world by turning into a harem of sexy men? Stay weird, Japan!